Good morning. A little bit chillier today than it has been recently, but still nice to get outside. And uh, it's Nick, uh, the circuit superintendent. And uh, like you, I've received recently a leaflet through my door from the Welsh government. Get ready for 20 miles per hour. Uh, this refers to the new speed limits in towns that's coming in this Sunday. And this sparked my mind off. And when I read this leaflet, what I really read is get ready for slowing down. And it just comes at a convenient time, a very busy time in the church year, the school year, perhaps a very busy time in your life. And it comes to me as a reminder that we have to find ways in our daily life to slow down. And I just want to offer a slowing down reflection uh, for whenever you happen to be watching this. I like to do this at the start of a day. You may perhaps do it at different times of the day. Many years ago, I used to use books by David Adam, who at one time was the vicar on Holy Island. And he produced a lot of uh, books like this, which were uh, reflective, meditative in the Celtic tradition. And I just want to use one of his um, patterns for helping us slow down. He calls it the five P's, uh, which is pause, remember God's presence, picture, some kind of story to reflect on, ponder on it, and then make a promise at the end. So we're gonna slow down just for a few moments today and we're going to pause in the presence of God. Let's be still. This is a prayer that I first came across in David Adams' books. I use it a lot in various forms. Your presence, Lord, is in my life. Your presence is all around me. Your presence is peace. Your presence is in my house. Your presence is all around me. Your presence is peace. Your presence is in my work. Your presence is all around me. Your presence is peace. So we pause in the presence of God, put aside any worries or anxious thoughts that may be in our minds at the moment, and just for a few moments slow down and make some space for God. Your presence, Lord, is in my life. Your presence is all around me. Your presence is peace. Amen. I want to read a short reflection that comes from the Iona community, from this collection of sketches, meditations. It's one that they recommend you close your eyes to and just try and imagine the scene. And I've chosen it because in a busy world where there are so many things that we could be doing, what's the one thing that we need to be doing? And this reflection suggests that it may not always be the most obvious thing. So let's close your eyes. Imagine yourself walking down the main street of a country town. Let's say it's 10 in the morning. You pass by a grocer's with local vegetables in the window. You pass by a baker's with new made bread on display. You turn a corner and walk past a back garden with a low wall. In the middle of the lawn, you see a man standing 
with wire mesh in his hand. He's staring at a large box. He's got a jersey on. His hair is close cropped and he has a moustache. He looks up and catches your eye and says hello. And you return the compliment. And looking at the house, you say to him, do you live here? No, he says, but he was staying there last night. So what are you doing, you ask? He turns the big box around and says, haven't you seen one of these before? And immediately you recognize that it's a rabbit hutch. Is it yours, you ask? No, no, he says. It belongs to a little girl who lives here. She was breaking her heart this morning because the wind blew the hutch over last night and the rabbit escaped. She's found the rabbit and now I'm mending the cage for her. Are you keen on rabbits, you ask? Not particularly, he says. Are you keen on woodwork, you ask? I used to be, he replies. There's a silence and you look at the man's face. He seems a little embarrassed. You look into his eyes, brown eyes, and though he's a little embarrassed, the eyes are smiling. There's another silence. Are you Jesus, you say? And he says, yes. And before you can help yourself, you ask, so what with all the things that need sorting in the world, why are you wasting your time mending a rabbit hutch? He nods in the direction of the house. There's a small girl in there whose heart was breaking this morning. And I asked her what was the one thing I could do to make her happy. And she said, would you mend my rabbit's hutch? And who am I to refuse a child? And then he turns to you and looks straight at you and says, what's the one thing I can do for you that will make you happy? And you think for a moment and then you tell him. And once you've told him, you trust him and you leave him to get on mending the rabbit hutch for that small girl because you know that when the time is right and perhaps even before the time is right, he'll attend to you. Let's just ponder that story for a moment. I didn't really give you time to think what you might want to ask God for now. That is what would make you happy. But give yourself some time to think about what you might answer if nothing immediately came to mind. And also think about who is it that you know who today you might be able to make happy? Because we all do God's work. We are God's hands and God's feet. There are many things that need to be done. What's the one thing you need to do today to make someone happy? Well, we've paused and we've invoked God's presence. We've pictured a story. We've pondered upon it. So all that's left is for us to promise. Uh, to promise that we won't forget that God is with us 
throughout this day, throughout every day. And I leave you with these words of scripture uh, as uh, a pattern for you to carry into this day, this week, whenever you're listening to this message. These are words of St. Paul to the church in Philippi. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, whatever's true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think on such things. Amen. May God bless us all.